All right, everyone, so you're in for a treat today. Not only do I have one story, but I have two stories. So, um, okay, they're both stories about different beverages. So we'll hop right into those. And one actually just happened, and one happened like, shit, I'm old as shit. So probably seven or eight years ago now. So we'll start with the one that just happened today. So, um, you know, um, the roads are just like a mess here, so whatever. So I'm like, okay, I'm like staying inside. I'm gonna make a mimosa. Like I have a bottle of champagne in like one of those little packets of orange juice that you mix with like water, then you like stir it up and um, you get to, you know, drink it. Like it's juice or something. Like it came in the carton, but it didn't. Okay, so anyway, so you know, I have one of those. So I'm like thinking and I'm like, I have the most genius idea instead of mixing the orange juice with water i'm just gonna straight up go for it i'm just gonna put a little bit in the champagne and i can just pour my mimosas like nothing <laughs> so you know i open the bottle of the champagne just a mess goes everywhere like it's supposed to scare the crap out of my cat and so he was hiding for a couple minutes but anyways um after I'm done with all that, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna like do it. And then like, there was like a little thought in my mind. I was like, like if this, like if champagne can like pop a cork off, like should I be concerned about like pouring this powder in it? Is it gonna have like some kind of crazy reaction? So I'm like, yeah, nah, whatever. What are the chances? Sure enough, I like dump it into <laughs> to my champagne and it just starts. It looks like a freaking volcano. It is spewing out of my freaking champagne bottle and it's just everywhere. And so, you know, instead of like trying to clean it up or trying to drink some of it as it's coming out or, you know, like something like that, like a responsible adult would do like me being my millennial ass self grab my phone and film a snapchat and i'm just like oh, i'm a dumbass so moral of the story don't just straight up mix orange juice powder with your champagne it'll be a disaster and okay so that story is probably the funnier one i'm gonna be honest but this one is just unmatchable like not because it's a good story, but what I'm going to talk about was just unmatchable, unmatch, unmatchable. Anyways, and it happened like eight years ago and still nothing has compared. And honestly, one of my friends has been requesting me to tell this story. So shout out to you, Brookski. Um, I hope your weather's better where you are than here. But okay, anyways, so this had to be my, I'm going to say my sophomore year in high school. I'm 90% year. I was either a sophomore or a junior in high school. And so one night, it's probably like it was in the middle of the week. So it's like maybe a Tuesday night. I wake up and I am just, I am parched. And I'm just like, oh my God, I'm going to die. So, you know, I get up and obviously I live with my parents at the time. So I quietly walk into the kitchen and it's in like I quietly get a cup and you know you have to do everything extra slow and extra quiet so as I'm like getting all this ready I am just like imagine I'm like this is going to be a really good cup of water like you know you can just feel it in your bones that it's going to be great yeah well so you know I continue sneaking around getting my cup of water and we have one of those automatic fridge it is our ice machine's been broken for like a lot of years so I think it was broken at the time so I Quietly open up the fridge, grab some ice, and like put it in there. And then I freaking um look into or no, I don't look at it anywhere. I was grabbing ice and then like I'm pouring this water and I grabbed a really big cup. So it's going, it's like so long, and I'm just like, oh my god, I cannot wait another second for this water. It better be so freaking good. Like I'm really hyping up this water I'm about to drink. So I'm like kind of nervous too, because I'm like, what if it doesn't like help what if I'm still thirsty after what if I'm just still quenched what a good word quenched is a great word so we're gonna bring that back in 2019 all y'all I want y'all to start saying I am quenched instead of I am thirsty or I'm desperate forever you know right now I am quenched for Frankie's attention because he 
has just been staring at me all day. But, um, okay, anyways, back to the story. So, anyways, I'm just quenched. I am dying. I'm like, this better be so good. So, you know, finally, after a good five minutes, the, my water's full. And I'm just like, all right, here we go. And I'm, like, nervous at this point. I'm like, what if this just is, does not do the trick? Like, what if this isn't good? Like, well, it's going to be, it's water, so it's good. I'm not, like, one of those freaks who doesn't like water. Shout out to Laura, who doesn't like water. Weirdo, serial killer. Okay, anyways, that was a side note. And, um, anyway, so I finally take a sip. I'm going to be honest. That was the greatest cup of water I have ever had. Like, it just, like, I felt like a brand new person after drinking it. Like, I felt like I had never tasted water before. I felt like there was freaking gold little, gold little dust sprinkled into my water. It was so good. And I'm going to be honest, like, I've never had, like, water that was that good before. Like, I mean, like, even up to this point, like, I have been super hungover and had, like, great water, but... It was just great. It wasn't elite. It wasn't unmatchable. It was, it was just okay. And like, you know, I, I'm into running now. So like I've ran a half marathon and had water after. Didn't live up to my hype. Ran a 5k. Didn't live up to the hype. Like it was like life changing actually. And I'm disappointed that I cannot go back and have that cup of water again. It was just unreal so the moral of that story is there really is no moral but my friend my friend Z really wanted me to tell that that story because it was super stupid but like literally I just went into art class like one day and I was like oops I always forget I can't slam my table but I was just like you guys you need to hear what happened to me last night so everyone gets like all hype and they're just like what did you do? Oh my God, what's up? And then I hit them with that story and they're just like, Lauren, you're fucking stupid. And I'm like, you guys don't understand. So you know what? If anyone ever has like just a life-changing cup of water, please tell me about it because I will understand. I will not judge you for that story. Anyways, hope everyone's having a great day and staying safe.